Hello, race fans, and welcome back to the More Freedom Series. Today we have a travel to the North Wilkesboro Speedway for the More Freedom Series All-Star Race. This is going to be... This is going to mark the halfway point of season number four here in the More Freedom Series. And uh, let's go through your current points. Your points leader is the number 20 of Adam B5000. Second's going to be the double zero of Mudbone. Third will be the 49 of Jetman. Fourth will be the 88 of NM. Fifth will be the 72 of Duchess. Sixth will be the 544 of Frederick Winklebaum. Seventh will be the 799 of Mike Check. Eighth will be the 11 of TC Roberts. Ninth will be the 203 of Signs, and rounding out your top 10 will be the 95 of Zed Brunna. Your team and chassis standings look like this. MBR leads the way with Douche Motorsports second, Ace of the Zed third, Amish Buggy Racing fourth, and rounding out the top five, the Drop Air Racing team. Chassis standings look like this. Dodge, Chevy, Toyota, and Ford. So that's a look at all your points. Let's go through what's going to be happening here today at the North... North Wilkesboro Speedway. So this will be a 100 lap affair here today for the all-star race. And it's going to encompass 18 drivers, which are all the winners from season number four so far and the three champions of the series. So the crowd has piled in here at the North Wilkesboro Speedway. They are fired up for this race. I am too. So let's go racing. Let's go through your starting lineup today. Starting on the pole will be the number 20 of Adam B5000. And on his outside, the 10 of Scooter. Starting third will be the 49 of Jetman. And on his outside, the 8 of Moon Bunny. Starting fifth will be the 72 of Duchess. And on her outside, the 544 of Frederick Winklevom. Starting seventh will be the 999 of Deviant. And on his outside, the 23 of Fuller Than You. Starting ninth will be the 51 of AJM. And rounding out your top 10 will be the 799 of Mike Check. So Adam's going to be leading us down to take the green flag here today at North Wilkesboro. It's a short track, six tenths of a mile ish, 100 laps here. The green flag is out, and we're underway here for the All Star race at North Wilkesboro. Adam already jumping out to the lead as we see three wide right here between the 8, the 72, and the 10. So Douche Motorsports lined up right there, three wide with Scooter and Scorer racing on the outside. Deviant trying to push his way in right now with the 51 of AJM and the 96 of Nico right behind him. So Moon Bunny stuck there in the middle as Deviant as they're lining them up down to the inside on the eight of Moon Bunny. Here comes the 999 of Deviant. and he's pushing his way, helping that 72 of Duchess, almost giving her the bumper right there. So Deviant down to the inside of the eight of Moon Bunny. S Scooter, we're seeing what he does right now. He's gonna try to jump down, but the 96 of Nika with a good run into the turn, able to get down to the bottom and get down to the inside of him right there. The 51 of AJM working to the outside right now. He's down to the bottom now as he's going to try to get underneath that 10 of Scooter. Here comes the double zero of Mudbone as well. Last week's winner at Fort Wayne, that double zero of Mudbone, looking for another win here. Again, non-points paying race for the All-Star race here in the More Freedom Series. Does Also does not go towards their um, overall win and whatnots in the series as I believe last season the 49 of Jetman won that the all-star race here at North Wilkesboro so Adam B5000 let's bring up your timing and scoring we're already on lap number six Adam still leads away here as he currently has two wins on the season in the More Freedom Series. He is your points leader. Uh, so Adam uh, continuing a little bit of dominance right now in the series with those two wins and the points lead. He took the points lead over from the 49 of Jetman a couple races ago. 
as we see him starting to line up single file now as we do see the double zero and the 51 and the three and the triple seven now working around the eight of Moon Bunny. Scooter's still stuck on the outside right now. Fastest lap on the day is going to be by the 49 of Jetman so far. 118.831 miles per hour or 18.923 seconds. So Moon Bunny's still stuck on the outside as all these cars are lined up underneath her. Again, that low line is the preferred line here in, at North Wilkesboro. So she's going to lose tons and tons of spots after starting fourth here. As we watch the 88 of NM working on the inside of her now. So those folks with two wins on the season are going to be the double zero of Mudbow and one Daytona and Fort Wayne. So a couple super speedways. And we got Adam B5000 who I know won at Pocono, but I can't remember what his other win was. So he's got two wins as well as the 544 Frederick Winklevom. He's got a couple wins here in the series. This season, in the series this season, we're jumping back through this field. We're going to see if Moon Buddy's been able to get down to the bottom of the track. She hasn't. Scooter finally is able to. He's down to the inside of the eight of Moon Bunny. She is just having a rough go on the outside right now as here comes the 23 of Wrecker. I mean, fuller than you. And the 420 of Queen of Hearts' his teammate there right behind him. We see that 544 Frederick Winklevom currently running in the last position on the track as Moon Bunny has lost about 15 positions at this point, 14 positions being caught on the outside. I mean, Scooter is the same deal. He started second on the day, and he's all, he's all the way back to the 15th position now after getting caught on the outside. Looks like the 23 of Fuller Than You has a run down to his inside now. So Fuller down to the inside of the 10 of Scooter. We'll jump back up here to the front of the field, see what is going on. We still have the 20 of the Adam B5000 leading the way with the 49 of Jetman right behind him. Looks like the 96 and the 51 have now caught up to the 999 of Deviant. A little bit of a twitch right there by the 96 of Nico. We're going to see if his teammate and brother, the 51 of AJM, can take advantage of that. Not going to take advantage is that 51 of AJM for MBR. Oh, looks like a little twitch from the 51. He is a double zero of Mudbone. Looks like he's going to try to take advantage of that little twitch by the 51 into the turn. He's down to the inside, so Mudbone for Amish Buggy Racing. Down to the inside of the 51 of AJM. This is going to allow that three of Geek Girl Games to kind of make a run here, try to catch up to the back bumper of that double zero as they battle it out on the track for the sixth position right now. Mudbone is going to have that position off the turn. AJM still with a run on the outside, but he is going to lose a spot if he's not careful to that three of Geek Girl Games. G3 is looking to try to get back into the win column here this season in the More Freedom Series again. Like four or five race, she won like four or five races last season. I think four races last season. Won her that points championship, but so far she has not won anything in the More Freedom Series this season. And so I know second half, she is looking to get back into the win column. Currently runs 11th in points here this season. And that goes the same with the 96 of Nico, who has four career wins three two seasons ago, or maybe he had four two seasons ago. Anyway, whatever he had, I think he had four two seasons ago, won him the points championship, finished third last season. Currently resides 20th in points this year. Uh, so I know he is trying to get himself into the win column. Lots of issues with uh, pit stops on that 96 this year. So I don't know if they're going to make any changes 
after the All-Star break or during the All-Star break for his pit crew, but we'll find out. As we see his teammate, the 49 of Jetman, still running in second behind, the, behind that 20 of Adam B5000. And we do see that the 8 of Moonbunny file all the way back to 18th. Saw a change of position on the board. The 10 of Scooter is going to try to make a run to the front, I think, as he gets around the 799 of Mike Check. That's for the 14th position. We see the 999 of Deviant, who, again, just a great story this season. Out of racing for the first four races of the year. Signed a deal with the uh, Drop Bear Racing Team for race, for race number five and has absolutely put on a show since then. He has moved his way up to 25th in points this season. So, again, Deviant missed the first four races of the year was, you know, you're, that's that's a bunch of points. <laughs> that's a bunch of points. You know, so you're thinking like four or 500 points right there just by missing those races has now made his way up to 25th in points and has the win here in the More Freedom Series. As you see, a little bit of a bobble by the 96 and the 999 right there. I wonder if that's going to allow the double zero of Mudbow to take advantage as the 96 right there to the back bumper of that 999 of deviant so nico is trying to move up here in the field again so then deviant has just had a wonderful year this year in the more freedom series after missing the first four races and we're going to see what the second half of the year has in store for him if he continues this run he may be looking at a uh, top 10 in points he's only about 500, 400, yeah, about 500 points off the lead, to be real honest. And that's, again, that's basically the first four races. So he's had an amazing run after those races, and uh, we'll see what he has, what they have cooked up for the Drop Bear Racing Team for that 999. His teammate and car owner, the 799 of Mike Check, as we see pit stops starting to happen, he's running right there currently in the 14th position so g3 into the pits for stop number one here on lap 30 we're going to see how far the 20 and the 49 go so adam has led flag to flag actually g3 might just be she might have had an issue. She's coming out now, so I'm not sure what happened to that three of Geek Girl Game. She's two laps down right now. Maybe just working a different pitch strategy. Well, let's go back and find out what happened to the three of Geek Girl Games, see if it was just pitch strategy or if she had an issue on that car. So checking back through that replay, looks like the three of Geek Girl Games just had a pit stop, so maybe she had a tire going down on that Reese Chevy for G3 Motorsports, and she had to come into the pits, watch that replay, and no just nothing, nothing happened with her. So we'll find out if what, I mean, she's good to go for the next how many ever laps, so maybe that'll take her to the end. Could be a good pitch strategy. As we watch the 20 of Adam B5000 still leading the way here at North Wilkesboro with 63 laps to go. Again, 100 laps here in the All-Star race as Adam leads the way, the 49 of Jetman seconds. The 72 of Dutch is third, the 999 of Deviant fourth. We have a change for the fifth position. That double zero of Mudbone taking away the fifth from the 96 of Nico. Six is going to be the 51 of AJM. So Nico might be losing some spots here as his teammate are getting around him here. That, again, is for the sixth position. He's going to fall back to seventh, who is now getting contention from the 777 of Seabass for the eighth. Ninth is going to be the 11 of T.C. Roberts. Rounding at your top 10 is going to be the 88 of N.M. So 
Fuller has now made his way up to the 11th position. He started... Where did Fuller start this, this race? Oh, he started 8th. So he fell back a bunch and has now made his way back up to the 11th position because I think we saw him way back in the pack there for a bit. As we watch the 88 of NM working, trying to work down to the inside of the 96 of Nico, so Nico might be falling back here as all these cars are lined up behind him after the double zero of Mudbone able to work his way underneath him. We're going to see if, if Mudbone now is able to, he's, he's got a pretty good car it looks like. He's getting right down there to the bottom of the track. As we see him working through three and four right now, you see him right down there to the bottom of the track. He's trying to work to the back bumper of the 999 of Deviant. As we check in on your leaders, the 20 of Adam B5000 still leads the way here. I foresee it being a just a pit stop affair here in the More Freedom Series at the in the All Star Race, and seeing what the 20, the 49, and all the rest of the drivers can do on pit road. Make sure they get on pit road and off pit road safely, and then see what happens. Again, I think G3 may have just went with a short pit, not ran it all the way out because she's still. I mean, she's running. Seven tenths of a lap faster right now than everybody else in the field. And that could be beneficial as we watch her catch up to the back of the eight of Moon Bunny now. So, I mean, she has ran down the back of the field after getting fresh tires. So, could be a great pitch strategy for the three of Geek Girl Games, even though, I mean, it's put her two laps down. She's trying to get down to the inside of the eight of Moon Bunny. Moon Bunny just blocking her like crazy right there into the turn. G3 almost giving her a little bit of that chrome horn. There's your leader of the 20 of Adam B5000. We're going to check it back through the field see what happened to that 96. He has fallen way back here behind the 10 of Scooter. So Scooter... Fallen all those positions has now worked himself into the 11th spot now. Nico might be having his tires go away as you saw him slide through turns two at one and two right there. As the 799 of Mike Check has made his way into the 13th position. So we'll jump back through this field to see what G3 is doing. She is still trying to get around that eight of Moon Bunny. So Moon Bunny is blocking uh, the three of Geek Girl Games like crazy right now as G3 is mere inches from her bumper. Trying to get that run on the eight of Moon Bunny. Let's see if she gets it down the back stretch. Not yet is that three of Geek Girl Games. We saw your leaders go past the beautiful Orange and Black Dodge Challenger pace car. So the double zero of Mudbone, again, two-time winner so far this season. Excuse me, has now caught up to the 999 of Deviant as we hit halfway. Your leader at halfway will be the 20 of Adam B5000. So Adam... Leads it halfway. He's led the first 51 laps here today. So anytime now they can do some pitting and make it to the end of this race. So hopefully, I'm guessing it's a one pit stop, a one pit stop affair maybe. Maybe zero pit stops. I don't know yet. We're going to find out. So it could be zero pit stops as we watch that double zero of Mudbone. He has, he is putting the pressure on the 999 of Deviant right now. A little bit of slide in that turn. A little bit, probably a little bit of an arrow push. Being that close to the back bumper of that 999. Look back through the field. The 96 of Nico and several other 
So the 51 of AJM is going to lose a bunch of spots, and Nico is going to move back up a spot. Here comes the 799, and that three of Geek Girl Games is a flying. Once she was able to get around that eight of Moon Bunny, she has made a heck of a run to the front of this field. Holy cow, look at this, the three of Geek Girl Games. She's pushing the 799 of my check right now. So she got around one, two, three, four, or five cars and just absolutely ran down everybody else in the field as she's working down to the inside of the 799 of Mike check. Look how much better those fresh tires are than the rest of this field. So if she can get one of her laps back here and there is pit stops, she might be able to pull this thing off. As she's going to push that, basically she's pushing the 96 of Nico down to the inside of the 10 of Scooter. I mean, at this point, G3 could drive that car around the outside if she wanted to. The only thing holding her back right now are the cars in front of her. Again, she's basically being held up right now by the 96 of Nico as she works down into a three and four. And Nico's gonna be, it would be a great idea if he just stayed at the bottom of the track, but he's not going to as we see the 999 of Deviant finally gets passed by the double zero of Mudbone, G3 down to the inside of the 88 of NM. She's continuing this drive to the front as she's working around the 11 of TC Roberts now. She's going to catch up to the back bumper of the 777 of Seabass. Basically, the fastest car on the racetrack right now is this three of Geek Girl Games as she's now to the back bumper of the 777 of Seabass. She's not been afraid to use that front of that car here these last few laps. As she's down to the inside of the 777, that 11 of TC Roberts is going to be smart to go with her. As she makes her way to the inside of the double zero of Mudbone and the 72 of Duchess. So G3 now with clear air in front of her is going to try to catch up to the 49 and the 20 of Adam B5000 here. So again, she's currently running about four tenths of a lap faster than everybody else, and she's about five seconds behind these two drivers. So they just came off a of turn two. She's off a of turn two. She's actually about a second faster a lap right now as she's working to catch up to those leaders. And we do see the 72 is in. So I think we got pit stops happening right now as we see the 49 and the 20 of Adam B5000 jumping into the pits. So the three of Geek Girl Games gets one of her laps back. We're going to follow her around this track as they're pitting, and she has the hammer down here at North Wilkesboro. Duchess is out. G3 is working right now to catch up. I'm going to try to catch up to that leader, 20 of Adam B5000. She is going to pass him, so she's going to get both of her laps back. I'm not sure where that's going to put her at the end of this race, but she definitely has had it, it, it could have been, it could be the pitch strategy of the year. If this works for the three of Geek Girl Games, she's now got around that double zero of Mudbone. She's working around that triple seven of Seabass now. But they're going to have a lot fresher tires than the three. So the 72 of Duchess looks like she's going to be in third position. G3 is going to be in fourth. And we're going to see how these tires hold up against those four fresh ones by the 777 and the rest of the field. 
with 32 laps to go here. So the 20 of Adam B5000 had a fantastic pit stop. He's currently about seven tenths of a second up on the 49 of Jetman. The 544 of Frederick Winklevom falling all the way back to the back now. And the 799 of Mike Check. I'm not sure what's been happening this season with Mike Check's pits. Uh, this second half of the year has had just, he's just had a, a rough go in the pits in the second half of the first half of the season and just had terrible pit stops. So we're going to see if the 49 of Jetman, who is seven tenths of a second back on the 20 of Adam B5000, has anything as I think. Uh, G3, while that could have been a, a great pitch strategy, if she had if she had been able to get past the eight of Moon Bunny earlier in the run, I think she would have had she would have had the ability to get both her lap backs quicker and then get to the front. So it was a great pitch strategy because currently she runs in the fourth position. The biggest, the different, the differentiating factor there was not being able to get around Moon Bunny. Moon Bunny holding her up, uh, and that just really caused her to fall back to where she is right now. So she's currently running 19.6 on her laps, and everybody else is now six tenths of a lap faster than her. As we see the 88 of NM, he's going to get down to the inside. So. It could have been a great pitch strategy if she if she hadn't been held up, but now with those old tires, uh, really the entire field's going to be able to go around her. So we watched that 20 of Adam B5000 with 26 laps to go here in the More Freedom Series. He's leading the way. And uh, for Elliott Motorsports, single car team here in the More Freedom Series, and... I will say the amazing part of this is, is that he's a single car team. He's the points leader. He's won two races and his team runs sixth in the team standings this season. So behind him, we have RP racing, G3 motorsports, Kager racing and scorer racing. So the only two single car teams in the field are Elliott motorsports and scorer racing and Adam by himself is able to put is able to put himself into the top position in the points leading here today as well as sixth position in the team standings so that tells you what kind of year that this 20 of adam b5000 has been having here in the more freedom series as i think he's probably going to catch that 544 or he might catch the 544 before the end of this race as G3 has now fallen way back to the 12th position. So again, I think that's a tough break by the three of Geek Girl Games not being able to get around. The eight of Moon Bunny. As we see the 88 of NM, who started 14th here today, has now worked himself into the fourth position. He's currently about five seconds behind the 72 of Duchess as we've got a caution on the tracks folks that looks like that's going to involve the 999 of deviant so deviant with i'm not sure what happened to him so deviant involved in a caution and possibly the three of geek girl games so this is going to be this is going to shake everything up here Today in the More Freedom Series, as we see Adam catch up to the back of that beautiful orange and black Dodge Challenger pace car with about 19 laps to go. Here at North Wilkesboro, we are under caution for the More Freedom Series All-Star Race. I doubt we're going to see any takers for Pit Road other than those folks that may have been involved in that caution, which looks like it definitely was the 999 of Deviant. So let's... Uh, Go check out what happened to the 999, and then we'll see if anybody is Lex to take pits. 
So this is just going to be a racing deal. It's going to be two people trying to fight for the same spot right here as you're going to see the 51 of AJM is going to get down to the inside of the three of Geek Girl Games. And then nine, the Deviant's going to try to get down as well as in, in the 420 and the in the 999 are just, they're going to try to take the same spot. So let's go through this real fast. So just a race and deal here for that 999 of Deviant and the 420 at Queen of Hearts. Got to hand it to the 999 and his pit crew. They are just electing to stay out here with 17 laps to go. So that's going to bunch up the field for this restart whenever we get the one to go sign. So again, your leader right now is the 20 of Adam B5000. Second's going to be the 49 of Jetman. Third's going to be the 72 of Duchess. Fourth will be the 88 of NM. Fifth will be the 23 of Fuller Than You. Sixth will be the double zero of Mudbone. Seventh will be the 96 of Nico. Eighth will be the 11 of TC Roberts. Ninth will be the 10 of Scooter. And rounding out your top 10 will be the 13 at King of the Aces. I mean, if I was G3, I probably would have pitted right there and um, been able to basically pass the entire field on this restart. So Adam has led every single lap except for two laps, which were led by the 11 of TC Roberts. No bonus points as we see him double file. Here on the back stretch, which could be good or bad. So Adams leading us back to this green flag with 15 laps to go. Great jump by the 49 and Jetman. As we watch him work into one and two, this is Adam's race to win. We're going to see if Jetman has anything on the outside right now for that 20 of Adam B5000 and possibly the 72 of Duchess. Duchess won a couple races ago here in the More Freedom Series. I believe she won at Milwaukee. It was either Milwaukee or Nashville. I believe it was Milwaukee. So she had a good short track run. As we have about 12 laps to go for the end of this race. So Duchess is going to push the 20 of Adam B. Basically push that 20 of Adam B. 5000 along. As we watch the 23 of, you know, known wrecker, the 23 of Fuller Than You. Work to the inside of the 49 of Jetman as we have a pass for the lead by the 72 of Duchess. So this late rate late, late race caution could cost that 20 of Adam B5000 the win as Duchess is going to lead that lap right here in the More Freedom Series here in the All-Star Race. We're going to see if Adam is going to go with a crossover move as it looks like the, tw the 23 might try to get down to his inside. So... Late race shenanigans here in the More Freedom Series. That late race caution is going to allow that 72 of Duchess, who restarts in the third position. That's going to allow her in the 72 Harborough Chevy, Sugarland Sugar Shine Chevy for Douche Motorsports to take over the lead here in the All-Star Race. So huge change of events here in the All-Star Race. For the More Freedom Series at North Wilkesboro as Duchess takes over the lead from the 20 of Adam B5000. As we see them lined up again back single file as the 49 of Jetman falls back to the 5th, 6th position, 7th position. As the 80, 96 of Nico is caught on the outside as well as that double zero of Mudbone. We see the three of Geek Girl Games has fallen way off the pace now. 
as the 999 of Deviant with that rear end damage just doesn't even care. He's driving as much as fast as he can to get back into his spot. So we see the triple seven of Seabass working to the inside of the 23 of Fuller than you with about five laps to go. So Seabass trying to make a run here for all the cash monies here in the uh, all-star race. He's still down to the inside. Looks like the 51 of AJM is going to follow along with him. As we see the 10 of Scooter thinking about getting down to the inside of the, in of the 20 of Adam B5000 with about four laps to go here in the race. Your leader again is that 72 of Duchess. Fantastic restart for that Sugarland Shine Chevy for Douche Motorsports. So Duchess in a position right now with just a handful, less than a handful of laps to go to pull off the win here in the All-Star Race for all the bragging rights for this season. Working out of turns three and four, down to the front stretch. Your leader still that 72 of Duchess. We see the 544 and the three have fallen way off the pace right now. They're currently about a second off the pace as they work through the turn there. White flag out, one lap to go for the 72 of Duchess. She's pretty much got this thing in the bag as the 20 of Adam B5000 holds off the 10 of Scooter. So down into three and four for the final time after a fantastic pass after that late race caution. Off of turn four, your winner for the More Freedom Series All-Star Race is going to be the 72 of Duchess. So we th I thought Adam had that in the bag here today, but that late race caution basically cost him the win, and Duchess had a fantastic... A fantastic restart. So let's go through your finishing order. Again, your winner is the 72 of Duchess. Second's going to be the 20 of Adam B5000. Third will be the 10 of Scooter. Fourth will be the 777 of Seabass. Fifth will be the 51 of AJM. Sixth will be the 49 of Jetman. Seventh will be the 88 of NM. Eighth will be the 23 of Fuller the New. Ninth will be the 11 of TC Roberts. And rounding out your top 10 will be the 799 of Mike Check. Uh, rest of the finishing order will be the 96 of Nico, the 420 of Queen of Hearts, the double zero of Mudbone, the 999 of Deviant, the 13 of King of the Aces, the 8 of Moon Bunny, the 544 of Frederick Winklebaum, and the 3 of Geek Girl Games. So that is the that's how it finishes here in the All-Star Race. Next week, we start the second half of season number four with our West Coast swing as we head over to California for the California 50. Um... No changes in the points and no changes in the team standings. So uh, we'll look at, the, you can have a look at those current points again as Adam's still your leader. And uh, we'll check out those team standings. As you see, MBR still leads away there with Dodge as the chassis standings as well. But awesome run today for the 72 of Duchess. She has a fantastic restart. And that double file restart just made the difference. She's able to get around the 49 of Jetman and the 20 of Adam B5000 and pull out the win here at North Wilkesboro. And until next week at California, take care. <laughs>